Over 300 teams start the season with hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament, but only 64 lucky teams received an invitation. These teams start their journey down the road to the Final Four in today's game between the Texas Longhorns and the Ohio State Buckeyes. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Buckeyes might have a little trouble with these guys, Dick. Keys to their success depends on what? Hey, the keys to their success tonight are simple. First of all, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. And lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Set that screen away. Defense breaks down again. Nobody rotates over from the help side. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Boards it. Once you get that board, you've got to be looking up court. Number 32 with the ball. Number 14 takes it away. The power forward takes the feed. Tries for two. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestle. How much fun would that be? Number 14 draws the personal. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. While pressuring, he goes for the steal. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. In the paint. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Try to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. He grabs the board. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. He pump fakes. Gave it up. Number 45 gets the pass. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Number 14 is fired up right now emotionally. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. On the outside, he got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. A couple of free ones. Texas has had a lot of success over the last few years with the 2005 College World Series Championship and then, of course, 2006 College Football National Championship. Well, they get some great athletes, Brad. Now they're looking for a few basketball championships of their own. Trying to go inside. Number 31 gets the ball. And off the mark. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Off the rim and no good. Tries one from three-point land. You betcha. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Number three takes the pass. Way off target. Dumps it in. With the jump hook. Doesn't go. They 
look to get it to the inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to. Play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Got a man in high post trying to feed inside. He does the sweet fake shot. 10 on the shot clock. And his shot rejected. Missed the shot in close. Should have used the backboard. Didn't use the angle. Lay it on the glass. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. They work the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Dick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. And our trifecta and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And the ball goes out of play. High post flashes for the ball handler. Turns it over. Two perfectly executed. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. That's the weakest double team I've ever seen, Brad. They were a little bit too careful, I think, not to foul. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Way out on top with a rejection. Intercepted. Cross court. He bombs from outside. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. He puts up the tray. Got it. the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Uh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. For the bucket. Up and in. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. With a long bomb, tries for two. 
He buries the shot. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Number 14 with the theft. Looking for the foul. Number 14 with a finger roll. the outside gets up to make the block let's watch the defense down on the low block see first initially he wants a three-quarter then he plays it where he gets good post position so he's able to get the ball the good rebound position a good block out and that's essential in the post a lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position He goes for three. The defensive rebound coming the other way. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. With a bucket, perfectly executed. That's an 8-0 run. Controlling the ball. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Number 42 walks out to get his first minutes tonight. They have such a deep bench, Brad. This kid could start for any program in the land. Except this one, apparently. Well, you never know what the story really is. Tries for two. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if he were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. Outside jumper. He hits it. That's an 11 0 run. They've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Gave it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, perfectly executed. There they come with a double team to stop it. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. And now they'll bring it up. He's got a nice shot fake for the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Defense giving some room. Tries a three. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That was 
really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. They scored seven in a row. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. Misses the free one. He gets the rebound. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Nick, this is what we look forward to all year long in the NCAA tournament in the first half that's this close. I'll tell you, as a coach, you want to have the kids primed at the right moment, and this is the right moment. And both these clubs really are well coached and are primed to respond in a positive way. This one's going right down to the wire, baby. Steals a pass. Anticipation defensively. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. And off the mark. The frustration right there. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Ohio State are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good defense, which is what we're seeing right now. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Coming back the other way. Goes up for two. The land. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. They move it into the front court. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Number 32 grabs it. Makes a great move to draw the foul. I tell you, what an opportunity he's got right here. Because to me, this is a gift. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Gets two at the charity strike. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. A defensive stop will definitely get the fans out of their seats. Double team now. Bad angle. He attempts the trifecta. That was nice. away the pass. Yes, 
You see it time and time again. Star players make plays. He's what I like to call a surf and turf, a superstar. Only the special ones get to this level. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. He launches the bomb. He drains it. Time to pick up the defense here now. They get that rejected. Good fake. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Pressure that basketball. Nice fake. There's a double team waiting there. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? On the inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. How about an instant replay? <laughs> tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Way off target. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. On the outside. Goes up for two. And in and out. Jumps into the defender. Entry pass in the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. There's the trap. Stolen away. They work it back to the outside. Unloads. Drains the shot. Shot clock is dead. The fake. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that.
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And off the mark. At the half, the Buckeyes are down by four. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Ohio State has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Dick, these kids have battled through a first half. They battled through an entire season and their conference tournaments, and now it's down to who's got some gas left in the tank. Well, you know, I really think it's impressive here tonight. Both these clubs are really focused on each possession. You can feel that they're playing with so much concentration, and that's all they got to do. They got to play up to their ability, and they're both doing it. At the ultimate end, it's going to come down to who makes the big shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He shoots from the top of the key. No. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He blocks the shot. Number 14 fakes the shot for the bucket. In and out. The point guard receives the ball. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Shoots from the outside. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that are saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Picks off the pass. And the slam. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Fakes it with a jump hook. Comes up empty. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. With the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. The Buckeyes have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. And he's on fire. The power forward handles the feed. Fake. Executes the baby hook. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court did. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. This is what you're supposed to do down low is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 on how to explode to the goal. The Buckeyes have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And he'll kick it back outside from beyond the arc. That's good. <laughs> Tries for two. They still don't score. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. 
All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you're a great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Dump it inside. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle, gets it to go. And the ball goes out of bounds. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. High post flashes for the opportunity. He puts up the tray, knocks it down. The power forward handles the pass. Let's it fly. He gets the shot to fall. For two. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? The center receives the pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. It's no good. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. for two. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Guys have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Block shot. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. Tries for two. Bounces off. Steals the ball. They run it up into transition for the deuce. And he scores despite the hack. Too much. That's a foul. Full house and a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. High post player flashing. Number 14 with the foul. Third personal foul. For the bucket. Way off target. Got a nice screen. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. He intercepts it. Mistake on a double team, and it's a four on three. And that usually means points. The Buckeyes have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Way out on top, controlling the ball. 
And in and out. He shoots from left of the circle. He drains the bucket. Picks off the lazy pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Trying to draw some contact. Number five makes the finger roll. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. The shot from the baseline. Comes up empty. the outside for two Texas have a nice little run going here can they keep it up though no one's proven otherwise just yet Brad They're working around the perimeter on the inside he's gonna muscle it on the inside what an explosive move to the goal no wasted time he had his mind made up he was attacking the basket Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tries for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job by the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Number 31 is called for the foul. Third personal foul. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. Number 32 goes to the line for the first time. Misses his first shot. Makes his second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Nick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Jump hook from the low post. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Double team now, bad angle. For two, he hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Jump hook from the low block. I'd say great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He attempts the three. Oh, yes. This one deserves another look, Brad. He goes with a jump hook. In and out. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. 
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guys? That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Off the rim and no good. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see raw man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He shoots from the baseline. Goes in. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down is... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. There's the pick. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Buckeyes have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Intercepted. Goes up for two. The lay -in. Picked off. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of play. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Working it around the perimeter. In the post. Puts it up, looking for contact. The Buckeyes trail by five. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to take some pride on the defensive end. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive player. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. He hits it. Good job defensively. They push it up on the break. For two. What should they do here, Dick? Let's go to time out and see what's going on out here. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. There they come with a double team to stop it. 
He looks for three. That's good. Tries for two. Can't get the shot and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Goes up for two. They still don't score. He rejects it. Rims out. Nick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He takes the shot. The Buckeyes have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Basic. Gave it up for the bucket. Easy one. And a momentary look from three-point land. Defenders right up on him. Fakes it for two. They're going to find a way to get some easy buckets to get their confidence back, Brad. Absolutely. they got to get it going here. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. It's a four-point game. This one could go either way. Don't give up your seat. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He's not even looking for the open man, Dick. They might need a quick T.O., baby. Dump it inside. He strips him clean. He shoots from downtown. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. They got a foul quickly here. On the outside. They work it around the perimeter. They need to score here to turn this into a one possession game. Tries for two. Better foul quick. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? Right, Brad. They have to foul in order to stop the clock, Brad. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Let's get back 
strike out on the floor. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. He shoots from outside. He gets the bucket. Wow, man, that stops the clock again. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Foul shot is not good. Timeout's called on the floor. This is where the true players come to play. It's crunch time, baby. Position with a little change here, Dick. That might not be a bad idea. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. He tries the three. Off the rim and no good. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Texas is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.